Hey there friends, thanks for checking in at the range now and we're going to do a range comparison with two very popular compact size 9mm handguns. Here we have the Walther PPQ and over here we have the Smith & Wesson M&P 9 Compact 2.0. Both polymer frame striker fire handguns that have huge followings of people. So I know I'm entering a hornet's nest here because at the end I'm going to choose one of these handguns if I could only own one. And I'm also asking you to do the same. Both have four inch barrels, both have 15 round magazines and grips that are very similar in size. Both ergonomically pleasing, both excellent shooters and they share many of the same qualities. Let's start with the PPQ. The PPQ M2 has the push button magazine release. I already mentioned 15 round magazines. Does have front serration, three dot sights, a pick rail, and a trigger that measures right at five and a half pounds. But that is the one thing that people love about the PPQ is that short reset and an incredible ergonomic feel. They do have the cross-directional texturing that has made this famous. They've actually uh, started with this and added it to many of their other handguns and it's been a big hit ever since. I've said since day one that gripping a PPQ or one of the Walther variants of the PPQ is like shaking somebody's hand. It is that comfortable. It's a little bit lighter than the average compact size 9mm in the same class and many people say it jumps around quite a bit. I haven't found that to be true, at least with my own shooting. The, the shooting impressions have always been very positive with this gun. I know a lot of people carry the gun. A lot of people like the subcompact model, but I've always been a fan of this since day one. Let's take a few shots. Big fan of the PPQ and I, I think it's top shelf. I really do think it is one fine handgun. But here we have the M&P 9 2.0. Smith did a great job when they, they started the 2.0 version of these along with many of their other models, much like Walther did with the PPQ. Heavy stippling. All right, it also has a rail sight hole indicator, three dot sights, and a hinge trigger. Now this trigger is a bit different. The Walther has a trigger bar safety in there. This has a hinge in there. It's kind of the, the staple trigger that Smith based their whole M&P line on is that hinge trigger, but it works excellent. It's got a nice feel to it, very gritty grip. 15 round magazines and it's a very common duty gun. I know many departments in the Michigan area went from Glocks to the M&P line and I've spoken with several of them and they are happy with it. Simple takedown, excellent accuracy, very reliable and all in all a fine handgun that won't break the bank either. And so the compact model is nice, they also have a couple smaller versions. They even have the shield models in the 2.0. So it's a, uh, shall I say, wide variety of M&P line. Actually quite a large, now that I think about it, they have uh, really expanded. But this is the compact model. Let's take a few shots. Nice handgun, very nice handgun. Uh, I know more than a couple people moved away from Glocks to the M&P line and I can't blame them. So the question is, which is the one that you would choose if you had to choose one? Would it be the Walther PPQ or the M&P uh, 9 Compact uh, 2.0? Um, it's a tough call. It really is. And I already said I'm entering a hornet's nest here, but I'm going to go ahead and make that call if I had to choose one. And I'm going to be simple about it. I cannot let go of 
the PPQ trigger. Therefore, I love it so much, I'm taking the PPQ. Although I own this, I own both of them, and this is going nowhere in my collection. What I want to know is, which is the one you would choose? If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.